The Orlando Magic have finally accepted that they're not going to win with the team they had. They gave up Vucevic, Aaron Gordon, and Fournier. The team that they were trying, you know, I don't. I think they kind of knew they never really going to make some noise. They were always like an eighth seed team. Not bad, but definitely not good. But if you're new to the channel, I do this series where two times a week, I go from the worst teams in the NBA to the best teams, talking about how I think they can angle their franchise towards a championship. And this week, we're the 14th seeds. On Tuesday, I did OKC Thunder, and today, I am doing the Orlando Magic. I think it can be worse for example, their roster, Cole Anthony, a young point guard who is kind of scrappy, can definitely score, has leadership qualities. I don't think he will be that guy for the Magic, but I think he can be a player that they can develop moving forward. I think he could be a good player. They have Terrence Ross, Mo Bamba, RJ Hampton, a player who has a lot of potential and was definitely shot out before he got to the NBA. People were really wanting him and then his hype kind of died down once he got to the NBA. I don't know why. This man is very skillful and has potential. Wendell Carter Jr., Gary Harris, Markel Fultz, Otto Porter, Jonathan Isaac. Like they have players. They really do. And they all of them are pretty young. And this year in the draft, they have the fifth and the eighth pick and if they can draft a score like they need someone who can make some noise can draw attention because they're kind of a small franchise and they need some attention like you know how the hornets were kind of like and eh, going forward never really anything crazy even with a player like kemba but then a famous young good player like lamello ball joins the team and now all the hype is around LaMelo and that team. And I think if Orlando can find their LaMelo ball, then they will be sitting pretty. Because like I said, a beautiful area. It's not like they live in Milwaukee where it's hard to get people to come. You live in Orlando, Florida, beautiful Orlando. People would definitely want to come if the situation is right for them. Like the Pistons just attracted Jeremy Grant, a good player who has star potential, all-star potential definitely. So why can't the Orlando Magic attract some free agents? So I think their best bet is tra either trading the 5th and 8th pick for a top 3 pick, which I don't know if Detroit, Houston, or Cleveland would do that, but see what you can do and try to draft someone who you think would fit your team and can change the atmosphere because they need some, some oomph. They need some excitement on the team. Someone who can score, take it to the rack, dunk on someone, get themselves some fame and with some scrappy players in cole anthony mo bamba otto porter terence ross markel fultz it's not like people won't want to play with these players it's not a bunch of bums on one team these are good players all have so much potential like i think rj hampton has some game in him i think he can really become a decent decent player in this league he has that offensive potential but if they draft so so players people who don't make noise then i think this will be a waste of a year because if they don't get someone this year i think they're gonna have to wait for next year to get a decent pick and then the, like i think they'll just get into a bad you know rhythm like they haven't been good in a long time let's be honest last time they were good was when dwight howard was in his prime they have they made the playoffs a couple times but definitely never made some noise they win one game in the playoffs and then they get bounced. So they need something to change it up. They held on to Vooch for a while. They were holding on to Fournier for a while. Aaron Gordon for a while. And nothing panned out. So at least they hit the reset button. They knew when was enough. So they hit that reset button. And they're trying to turn it around. And I think they really, really can. And I'm a positive guy. I have not. I've been through four teams so far. And I've not. And I've said it looked good for all of them. Because I think it can be turned around for every franchise. Right now, I can't see a franchise who's really, really deep, deep, deep in the dirt. But guys, that's it for today's video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. But that's it for me. I'm out. Peace.